I made a wind tunnel in my garage to test the aerodynamics of really crazy things and random things. Today, what I was thinking we could do is put this pickleball in a wind tunnel and see what happens. I'm currently working on making a bracket for the fan, but I ran out of filament. It's gonna take me a minute before I can get some more filament, but I also wanted to make another video. And so I thought, you know what? We're close enough, I think we can put something in the wind tunnel and test it out. If you've never seen a wind tunnel or you kind of like this idea, uh, please go check out the other videos. That would really help the whole channel. If you're catching the idea of what this channel is and you like the idea of seeing random things in a wind tunnel, there's two things that I would love for you to do. Uh, one, subscribe. And two, drop in the comments what you think would be fun to see in a wind tunnel. So today, we're gonna put this pickleball in a wind tunnel. There's three things I wanna do. One, I just wanna test it normally. Two, I want to test it at high speed. And three, I wanna take this little turntable and spin the pickleball and see if anything changes. I don't know what's gonna happen, but that's why that's why we do things. That's why we do things and find out. As I get, a, as I get set up here, there's a couple things I wanna make note of. One, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't have any formal training in wind tunnels or aerodynamics. I just have a, a general studies degree, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, you, we need to get you closer. And we're gonna turn all the lights off and we're gonna go for it. Okay, we have, the, we have the exposure set real low. We have the overhead light. Centered as far over the top of it as we can. Big lights are off. Plexiglass is closed. Fog machine is up and running. The fan is at about 10, 15%. Here we go in three. Two, one, wait, hold on. My phone has a dual capture mode, so you can see my reaction, and we can all react to this wind tunnel together. So here we go. Okay, fog machine is turning on in three, two, one. Whoa. Uh, let me adjust this real quick. Okay. That's interesting. That's not nearly as laminar as I thought it was going to be. Let's let's check and just make sure that things are working the way that we think. Okay, so that may be too high, too low. Okay, I think when. Okay, turn the fog machine down or the fan down just a little bit. Okay, maybe too low. What if we turn it up? What happens when we do that? Oh, there's like a sweet middle spot, I think. I'm not really sure. Okay, we're at halfway now. This is very interesting. Uh, it was working earlier. Let's go back down. Okay, it's fairly, it's fairly nice. Let's see what happens when we put this guy in here. Okay, yeah, it's working. Not nearly as well as I thought it would. Um, let me know if you have any ideas of how we can fix this. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the smoke off we're gonna see what kind of dragging trails we can get. Oh, that is, that is really cool. It is just kind of holding on there. Huh. That is fascinating. Okay, we're gonna do it again really quickly. Smoke on. And then off. Interesting. Huh. 
The weird part to me is, so when I turn it on, the smoke is gonna go underneath the ball. When I turn it off, the smoke kind of goes up and over. Watch this. See, so it goes, it goes dips down, and turn it off, and it goes. I don't know what's happening. That is really cool. That looks really nice though. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna turn the fan all the way up. Uh-huh. Yep, and then the fog machine, we're gonna turn on in three, two, one. Uh, that's, that is cool. Um, okay, fog machine off in three, two, one. That is awesome. On again. Huh. That is so cool. I don't know if you can see it. Right in. I may have to, we're gonna do a slow-mo. Hold on. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this turntable and put it in the wind tunnel. We're gonna see we're gonna see what happens, but we need to change, we need to change this guy. So, that goes there. He needs to be relatively centered. Uh, oh, this is so slow. Okay, that's as fast as it goes. Um, um, I don't know if this is gonna be as fast as we want it to be. Okay, here we go. Fan, just a little bit. Fog machine on in three, two, one. Okay, obviously we need to turn the fan up a little bit. Interesting. So kind of, maybe that's what it looks like when it's flying through the air. I don't really know. One of the questions I do have is, so for like, Balls like this are like a football, not a football, baseball. How in the world can people get that thing to, to curve? I don't know. Uh, if you have any ideas of how we can upgrade this uh, Lazy Susan turntable thing, let me know, because we definitely need it to go a lot faster than that. Because what I would love to eventually see is for us to be able to visualize how we can, how we can see that the air change. So for like a golf ball, for instance, what happens when the ball is spinning through the air? How is it gripping the air? I don't know. Um, these are questions that I have that I want to figure out with real life stuff and not a computer simulation. simulation. Um, but I wanna try in real life. So if you have any ideas of how to make this uh, turntable faster, let me know in the comments. If you have any other ideas of what to put in the wind tunnel, man, let me know, I am all ears. And uh, if you have any ideas of what to name this thing, please let me know. AKA, I just wanna know your thoughts in the comments below. That's the video for today. I don't know how to sign off to these things, but I'm glad that you watched and I think it's really fun. So, uh, peace. Okay. This is 4K resolution at 240 frames a second. This is full speed with the fan and the smoke machine on in three, two, one.